What if I told you you don't need all these ham sticks to get on the bands? Wouldn't it be great if we only could use a few? Well, we can using this. Now this is my do-it-yourself loading coil. That's right, it's a loading coil. We're gonna use this with the ham sticks. And I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna show you how we could make a 10 meter ham stick. Maybe we could go all the way to 20 meters and how we can make 20 meters go all the way to 60, maybe even 80. I'll show you, let's do it right now. Okay, so right now, we've got on here, on the back of the truck, we have a 10 meter ham stick. And what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna show you, we're inside the truck here. I'm on FT8, and I'm going to just do a tune up. And you can see, that we got a great SWR. Now, let's see if we could get on 12 meters and let's put the coil, the coil on. So it's really simple to do. Not hard at all. All we do is we take out the ham stick right here and we're gonna put this in its place. So now we got, we got 10 meters so far. Let's see if we could do 12. Get that screwed on there. I'm not adjusting the top or nothing. All I'm doing is putting a loading coil on the bottom. Let's see what happens. Oops, can't forget my camera. All right, let's put this right at the top. We'll put it right at the top of the thing. Let's go see what 12 meters does. We're on tune. There's 12 meters right there. So we tuned up on 12 meters perfectly fine. So we were so far, we got the 10 meter ham stick and we got a nice SWR. Let's wait for the next pass to go and we're gonna see what it does. So 100 watts and we got uh, 1.2 SWR. Not too bad, not too bad. It's, uh, we're working on 12. Now let's see if we could do, uh, the next band we'll do uh, 15. Oh, we got someone responding back here. Let's see what they give us for a report. Uh, minus 13. Not bad, everyone else is kinda different. Yeah, that's, that's pretty decent. Let this one roll. So, so far, 10 meter hamstick tunes up good by itself. So we're, we don't need any coil on it, obviously. And uh, with the coil, we got 12 meters now. Now let's go try to see if we could get, if we could get 15. So let's go set this up to, to 15. So we're on 15 now. We're gonna turn down the, turn down the power. We're gonna push tune. We're three to one on it. This is what makes it so easy to tune with FT8 actually. You, you don't need a tuner. We just need to move this a little bit. Okay, we're three to one. Move it some more, pretty aggressive. Oh, we're high SWR. Go the other way, right there. Okay. 
This is our SWR now. We are 1.2 SWR and we're gonna tune up the tune to 100 below 1.5. If I wanna spend some more time, I could easily tune it even better, but so, so far we got 10 meters on 10 meter hamstick. We got on the 12 meter and we got on 15. Now we're gonna try 17. Now this one's a little trickier to do. We're gonna turn the power down. We're gonna hit tune. And we're getting uh, 2.5. Now remember, we turned the power down so we could touch this thing. It's not gonna harm us. We're just gonna go a little bit, just a tiny bit. We got 1.9. Gonna move it just a little bit. How's that? We are one to one, almost one to one. On almost no watts. Let's turn it up. We're still. All right. <laughs> we're doing we're doing really good here. 17. Now we could we could try 20. But you want to try 20? Let's try 20. Let's see what we could do. 20 meters on a on on a on a 10 meter hamstick. Okay. Let's try this out. We are low down. Let's go tune. I'm not seeing anything moving. Is that tuned as well? Oh yeah, no, the, the low power didn't work there. So let's turn down the power. Tune. Okay, high SWR. We're gonna do, not high, but it's 3.3, which is pretty high. Let's move this coil, like so. All right, 1.5. Move one coil down. There we go. We got a one to one. Turn the power right up. We are we are rocking. We are getting all the bands on a 10 meter hand stick from 10 all the way to 20 so far. So the big, the big, big thing is, can we get 30 meters? So let's go to 30, me 30 meters, that's 10 megahertz. Let's turn the power down. Let's do a tune. Okay, they're gonna stop that right now because it started screaming at me. Let's move this coil. Let's move it about this much down. It's fairly aggressive of a loading on it because we went quite a bit. Let's hit the tune button. Still high. Let's go again. Might be going the wrong way, who knows. Okay, I'm tuning right now, low power. Let's turn the power up very slightly. Okay, we're, we're at 100 watts below 1.5. So I think what we need to do is we need to see if we can actually make a, a contact. Let's clear everything up here. Reset. Let's call CQ on 30 meters. Okay. 
There we go. Do that. Anyone hearing us? Oh, there's everyone who's hearing us there. So there we are. I really think we we're doing it. We got how many bands? We got 10, 12, 15, 17, 20, and 30. That's six bands on one hamstick. Can't complain about that. And we're getting over uh, the proof is in the PSK reporting. We're getting out. SWR is safe. This works. So, all right, there you have it. We've got 10 meters with the 10 meter hamstick. We got 12, we got 15, 17, 20, down to 30 meters on a 10 meter hamstick using this do-it-yourself loading coil. Easily adjusted by just moving the magnet up and down to get the perfect SWR. As you've seen, I used my um, FT8 program and put it to low power and adjusted it while I was uh, keying down on a tune and I got the optimal SWR. I could have spent a little bit more time on a few, but a lot of them went down to one to one SWR. Is this sufficient? Not exactly, but we're not using a tuner. We're just basically changing around the whole chemistry of, or chemistry, the physical aspects of this hamstick. That's right, so go out there, don't buy all these hamsticks. Lay down 20 bucks, build yourself a coil. All you need is a 10 meter one. I mean, if you want to have a little bit better performance, a 20 meter one does work great to go down, down to 40, 60. You might even be able to get 80 with it. So save your money, buy a few sticks, build yourself one of these. Please like and subscribe. If you want to see some more content like this, of course, the building of this coil and other cool videos that I have, join my channel. Hey, for now, See you hams on the bands, and if you're not a ham, go out there and get your license. What are you waiting for? 73s.